advocacy is what it, it is all about, what it's all about. This is why Adrian's here today. Adrian's one of our developer advocates. He and I work really closely together, and I'm super excited because, oh, dude, since Amsterdam, earlier this calendar year, you have been busy. You have been really, really it's, busy. Uh, it's, and, yes, it's been pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got just a list of things to talk to us about today. I cannot wait to ha for everyone to hear about it, so I don't, I don't want to hold you back. What have you been up to? Yes, so uh, yes, we had the conversation back in Amsterdam, right? So I just wanted to follow up with everyone on what we've been doing since then and what's coming up uh, within the next, you know, two, three, four months. So where do I start? Moraki, last time Moraki. We have had the month of Moraki in March, right? Mm -hmm. We had five webinars every week. You can find them on Bright Talk, or you can also find them on YouTube now. Right. Thanks for uploading them. You're on welcome, YouTube, by the way. So folks can find all those webinars on both of those platforms. Uh, what else? We're actually improving the documentation for Moraki. So the API documentation on developer.cisco.com is getting a refresh, nice coat of paint. We're getting, we're bringing dark mode. Oh, uh, and on top of that, sorry to cut you yes. off, but to add on to that for everybody, if you haven't gone and looked at developer.cisco.com, we have a whole new homepage with home a whole page. new docs page yep. as well. So this is going to be a refresh of their docs yes. within a new look and feel of the docs page to make it just a much cleaner experience for anyone to find exactly what they're looking for. Exactly, yes. We also enabled the Net Promoter Score for Mark documentation that we're following closely, all the feedback we're getting from people. And on top of that, we're bringing customer satisfaction also to so get a thumbs up, thumbs down on every single page mm -hmm. on the documentation for Marky because we really need feedback. Yeah. We want to make it for the community better for everyone. So please make sure you provide feedback because we take it very seriously over there. So that's Moraki, right? Um, what else? DNA Center, let's talk about it. We're gonna have six, I have a commitment on six webinars coming up. So be yes. on the lookout, there's gonna be invites, we're gonna have it probably on Bright Talk, we're still gonna discuss it, but same thing, similar to Moraki, we're gonna have the DNA Center folks come on, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go over integrations with ServiceNow, with Splunk, all of that great content that uh, you're expecting from us, it's coming mm -hmm. up. So that's DNA Center, right? Uh, SD WAN. So we're gonna have SD WAN Automation Awareness Month, all of June. So we started Very now. We started here in uh, in Vegas at Cisco Live all of this week, and then the next week, actually, uh, I'm having a webinar on Tuesday on REST APIs, introduction to REST API, mm -hmm. and also the SD WAN REST API. And then on Thursday, we'll have a workshop on how to use Postman to interact with vManage, how to get uh, uh, your collections going, your environment set up in Postman, all that. So it's going to be a hands-on workshop. Super exciting. I'm looking forward to it for next week. So that's and coming. And you have that, that's basically every week throughout the rest of June, starting yes. next week, yes. we have a webinar and a workshop each yes. week. Yes, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Webinar on Tuesday and then uh, on Thursday a workshop. Hands-on workshop around a half. It's going to awesome. be very exciting. And for anyone who hasn't seen it on blogs.cisco.com in our developer area, there's a blog about this. Yes. And you can go to developer.cisco.com slash events, and all the events are listed there, and you can register from that location as well. So a lot of ways to find these and participate whenever you want. Exactly. So if you haven't registered yet, please make sure you do so. Mm -hmm. Find the content on developer.cisco.com or the blogs, like Jeff was saying. So that's SD-WAN. Uh, then we go iOS XC. I'm sorry, there's more? There's more. <laughs> there's, there's much more. So OSXE, we were talking about consolidating the sandboxes. So in the process of finalizing that, and also migrating from CSR 1000V, because it's uh, it's end of life mm -hmm. at this point, we're moving to Catalyst 8000V. That's exciting. That's exciting. So also, we had about six sandboxes of OSXE, different stages, mm -hmm. uh, different versions. So we're, uh, we're trimming that down to two sandboxes, making it much more cleaner. We're going to integrate our ZTP use case, uh, model-driven telemetry, and model-driven programmability mm -hmm. all in one sandbox. We'll be still have access to the learning labs that we put together for all of those use cases. You will still be able to find them in this consolidated, uh, mm -hmm. much easier to interact with sandbox. And for iOS XC, we're also redoing the Dev Center. Uh, it needs a bit of love. Uh, it hasn't been really updated in a bit of time. So we're bringing some new use cases in the Dev Center, specifically for iOS XC. And we've also had a webinar with Story and Jeremy in April, mm -hmm. automation and programmability with iOS XE. There's been more coming up. Be on the lookout uh, next month. I have Jeremy and Story coming back. They want to be 
there, they want to have more webinars. So I'm super excited to be collaborating We're with them. Always happy to have happy to have uh, product TMEs available yes. to us to, to talk more about how to do these things. And if anyone thought this was going to be like a, oh, and one more thing, there's like six one more things because okay. Adrian's just got so much going on. So, and same thing with the webinar for iOS XD, uh, programming automation, you can find it on Bright Talk and YouTube uh, on our channel. And uh, I think that was bad. Oh, wait, sorry. There is one more thing. There is. There is one more thing. So somebody here has been doing a live stream on Twitch for seven weeks now? Eight weeks Eight now. Week. Yeah, Eight weeks couple of now. months. Every yes. Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, you've been going live, deploying. Yes, so we're building a CICD pipeline for infrastructure automation from scratch. So no previous knowledge mm -hmm. uh, of anything assumed at that point, right? So we're starting from zero, how you deploy a CentOS box, how you install GitLab, how you configure it, how you have PyTS involved, how you install Ansible, how you bring all these components together. Uh, we have eight hours of content, video mm -hmm. content at this point on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Cisco DevNet. Mm -hmm. So it's all there, it's being recorded. So if you haven't you know, joined live every Wednesday, don't worry, it's all recorded, you can access it over there. And uh, we're still going. Unfortunately, this week I'm here, so this Wednesday, you know, it's, it's gonna be skipped, but next Wednesday we're gonna pick it up and uh, finalize the PyTS component. Looking forward to that. And within you know, four or five weeks, I'm hoping to actually finalize the, uh, the CICD pipeline all going through all the steps required, and then we're gonna have guests. So uh, looking forward to actually having guests on our Twitch stream, bringing folks, just having you know regular conversations, mm -hmm. what they're doing, what they're working on, bringing right. projects, automation projects, whatever whatever they have. That's fantastic. It's my favorite part about the type, the, all this content that everyone's being created, yourself included, and many of the uh, the other advocates on our team. My favorite part about this is you're not just making something that's instructional. Yes, it is that, and also it is showing someone real time and as we've seen when you like errors happen even though you built this entire project and you're rebuilding it again so for the benefit of everyone else you still end up encountering a error or a dependency that got missed or that popped up since the last time you deployed it yep. and being able, having to go through and troubleshoot that live on the fly folks being able, community members being able to watch that and say oh i don't feel so bad because you're dealing with it too i hit that oh this is how you got past it and the folks can kind of see themselves in you while they're doing this and it, hopefully can help them feel a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more willing to try this because it's not easy, it isn't. It's it's not, and you're exactly right, right? That's what we wanted to do, show the real face of what happens behind the scenes. We all like the, you know, the flawless demos and everything, but there's a lot of work behind that, <laughs> yeah. behind those. So uh, yes, it's been, you know, we've configured NTP on a CentOS server because our website was not coming up, right? And that was the cause, so that's situations like those. Mm -hmm pop up and uh, that was the, the main purpose of our stream was, you know, let's do it live. That's awesome. It's uh, whatever happens, it's we'll what fix happens. It. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, thank you so much for stopping by. And for everyone, we will be back in, in uh, Amsterdam again this next year. We'll, I'm sure we'll have a lot more updates for you. We'll but catch up everyone, yeah. Definitely find Adrian online, find him on the developer, our developer site. He's, we'll have plenty more content coming out, so there's always gonna be something to look for. Thanks, dude. Thanks, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me.